Yo, what's up, man? Boxing Combo here to give you the results on the Jorge Arce fight versus Anj Gi, Anj Gota. Before that, y'all know tonight was the fight Shane Mosley, Andre Berto fight on HBO. It was suspended because of personal problems, uh, which Andre Berto was facing, being of Haitian descent and having family in Haiti. To a uh, couple weeks back, he did not know the, the whereabouts of his sister, his nephew and a couple more family members until finally, uh, thanks God, he found out his sister, his nephew, they're okay. Uh, but things are not looking good in Haiti still. Things are real bad. I'm, uh, we're, pretty, we're pretty close. I live here in PR. We're pretty close to, to Haiti. And uh, we've been sending here help, you know, out supplies, medical supplies, people going down there trying to do whatever they can, uh, people coming together, man. It's even myself, I, I was able to take a bunch of boxes of water to a certain place where we were donating the water, we were donating money for uh, medical supplies and donated clothing and all that was shipped out to Haiti and I hope that it arrived and it didn't fall into any corrupt hands, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, much love and much prayers to Haiti. Uh, moving on to the results of the Jorge Arce fight. Anyway, let me give you some info on these fighters in case you don't know, at least I didn't know this guy much. Anyway. Anjki Anjkota, 28 years old, he's 5'5", five five. they're fighting at flyweight for the vacant OMB title. This uh, Anjkota is from Samaringi, Indonesia. Indonesia. He's orthodox, he's 20, he has 23 wins, 4 losses, four losses 14 KOs. The commentaries, you know, commentators are trying to make this guy look to be like a, like a real contender. He has, if you look at the record, it's a pretty good record. He has 23 wins, 14 KOs. Remember, we're talking about flyweights here, you know, so, you know, he had four losses. Um, but they were trying to say that he, he was never not, he'd never been knocked out. And one of those losses, he did lose by KO, so he was knocked out in, in one of those four occasions. Anyway, um, some more on Jorge Arce. He's 30 years old from Mexico, Los Monchis. He has 53 wins, six losses, one draw, 40 KOs. And he lost, uh, out of those uh, six losses, he was knocked out three times. He's 5'7", orthodox. Uh, they call him Jorge El Travieso Arce. Uh, Jorge Arce, I'm a big fan of the dude, man. The guy, as soon as the bell rang, came out like a raging pit bull, just jumped on Mr. Anchigoto, just jumped on the man and just started pounding away, pounding away, pounding away. And I don't know. I don't know. Anjigoda just, you know, he went to this fight just to hang around the corners and just let Jorge Arce go freewheeling on him. That's what we saw for eight rounds. Jorge Arce just banging away, banging away, and banging away. And just Anjigoda once in a while got a good, you know, some good counter punches. But, it, you know, if he doesn't have that much power behind the punch, it was just really insignificant. He was just getting his his butt beat for all eight rounds. Uh, the guy did not impress me. I think he even had some weight issues before coming to the fight. I think he had to take such a long trip. He just came all tired and exhausted. He was, you could tell he didn't even want to fight. The fight was stopped in the eighth round by apparently a headbutt. Uh, Anch Gota, the guy from Indonesia, had a very nasty, it wasn't all that nasty of a cut on the side, but it, it did bother him, obviously, you know, blood getting into his eye. But you could tell he did not want to fight. He was looking at the doctor telling him, come on, you know, say something. Say it's nasty. Stop the fight, please. He did not want to fight. He did not want to continue. It was pretty much an easy fight for um, Mr. Hoy Arce. He did get a bit banged up, but I think it was just kind of a clash of heads. And the guy did get a punch on on Arce once in a while. But nah, man. Arce, Arce just, it was a blowout. Um, Jorge Arce won. Uh, by uh, uh, by stoppage because of the head because of the, the gash on Mr. Anch Gota's um, side of the face. Uh, so uh, right, I'd say now again uh, world champion because if you remember the last fight that he had, I think it was pretty much the last fight he had was with Big Darginian. Remember Big Darginian? They were fighting. Big Darginian won that fight in a very man. That fight was just nasty. I think I did a vid on that fight. And uh, y'all know Victor Argenia moved on to fight. I forget his name, but I did a, I did a result bid on that one also where Victor Argenia lost. Anyway, Jorge Arce did a thing. He just looked awesome like he always does. Um, this guy, uh, I don't know in 
what ranking or was he in position to actually fight for that vacant title, Mr. Anchkota? But he looked like a Class C fighter to me. Uh, a Class C fighter, not classic, Class C, just in case you don't, you know, you ain't catch it. Um, but no, I'm not taking anything away from Mark Arsene because I'm a big fan and I like watching this guy because he comes to fight. It's like he's going to do something to you, you're going to do something to him. Somebody's going to get knocked out, somebody's going to get busted up, but it's going to be action and that's what we saw in this fight. But it was just like one-sided action, so it kind of got boring for most of the rounds because it was just Jorge Arce just punching away. It was like he was punching a punching bag. But he won the fight. Now he's a champ, and now it's not salt beds on there. Press go out to Haiti, and y'all know we didn't get that Shane Berto fight, but now we might have that Shane Mayweather fight, so that sounds good. And uh, y'all know, boxing combo. Catch you on the next one, people.